You've got Kevin Holland making his welterweight debut against Alex Oliveira. Now, I think Holland, he's made the right move here, cutting down a weight class, because I think it will make him take this a little bit more seriously. He's, he has similar attributes, actually, to Jalen Turner when he goes down to welterweight, which is which is good. He's, he's six foot three. He's got a hell of a reach. And as long as he uses his reach correctly and doesn't get into a weird firefight with Oliveira, honestly, I think he's going to be just fine here because whilst Holland, look, he's had a few tough losses. When you look at his recent record, obviously he had the no contest headbutt against Dorcas, but then he, you know, he had the two losses to Vittoria and to Brunson. But before that, he was on the best win streak of the year, I think. I think he tied for the most wins in a calendar year when he knocked Ronaldo Souza's head off from the ground as well literally like from his knees still managed to knock his head off brilliant go back and watch that fight that was good but Holland he sure he's shown a real weakness to the wrestling but I would say the UFC are probably throwing him a bit of a bone here in Alex Oliveira because Alex Oliveira is hardly he, look, his, Alex Oliveira is really good. Don't get me wrong. I do not hate Alex Oliveira at all. He is he's an exciting fighter. He's very solid in every aspect of the game. However, I wouldn't say he's like this stud wrestler who's going to cause Kevin Holland too many problems. And I don't think that Alex Oliveira is going to go shooting in for takedowns. I mean, maybe he would be wise to do so because that seems to be the only real glaring weakness that Kevin Holland has. Well, not the only weakness, but... It seems like a really big one that got exploited by Marvin Vittori and Derek Brunson, respectively. So, I would say that Kevin Holland is the favourite in this one, and I do think very rightly so, because I think the UFC, as I said, they're throwing him a bit of a bone here. I like the knockout for Holland. I don't think he's going to get the submission, uh, unless he stuns Cowboy and then grabs a neck don't get me wrong you know, Kevin Holland has got submissions but he likes knocking people out and that's the difference and I think we'll see this play out on the feet you know um, predominantly so I don't think that Cowboy is the guy that's going to be shooting for takedowns all over the place and trying to drag him down to the floor I think he's going to stand with Holland and with Holland having the reach he's going to be the bigger guy because he's cutting down now and hopefully he's taking this a little bit more seriously the weight cutting will help with that it's why Michael Bisping started cutting weight because you know when when he fought Rashad Evans he realized that Rashad Evans was punishing himself just sitting in saunas just cutting all that weight whilst Michael Bisping's sitting there eating a Chinese because he he has no problem making 205 do you know what I mean and and then there was like so it was it's almost a mindset thing when he started cutting to middleweight he said it really helped him really take it seriously take the training seriously and I think it could be a similar thing for Kevin Holland here because that is one problem that he had obviously when he fought Brunson he was just talking to Khabib Nurmagomedov half the time who was sitting at ringside and funny yes but it's kind of after a little while it's like yeah okay you've already conceded that you've lost this fight then you're not taking this seriously at all and I think he does need to take it just a little bit more seriously because he has the tools to get it done he has the tools to be a real problem at 170 pounds make no mistake about that and I think we see the first kind of glimpses of this this weekend when he fights Oliveira I'm taking the knockout 2.20 just better than even money banging that on the bet slip